Good evening all of you. I am Malidu Haragastan. I am going to present our final year design and research project of design and development of a pneumatic base support surface with high resolution pressure distribution for the treatment of pressure ulcers. The group members are GPM Halagastan, ILID Sumana Sekara and PWAHC Vikram Singh. The advisors are Dr. Indrajit Nisanka and Dr. Gayani Nandasiri. What is actually a pressure ulcer? Pressure ulcer is a skin deformity which occurs due to the application of prolonged pressure on the skin which compresses the blood vessels that supply oxygen and vital nutrients to the skin. This is more prominent in bony areas such as heels, sacrum, elbows and spine. When we consider the global impact, the pressure ulcers are severe health burden to the national health services. The annual total treatment cost of pressure ulcers in the UK is around 1.4 to 2.1 billion pounds and the US it is 18.5 billion dollars to the health system as well the death of 60,000 persons in the US was recorded in 2019. Considering the severity of pressure ulcers, it is identified four stages of pressure ulcers. Stage 1 is merely a skin discoloration in red, blue, purple or black. In stage 2, some of the topmost layer of skin loss starts to occur. Stage 3, necrosis or damage to the skin begins and this limits up to the skin layers. In the final stage, which is the most severe stage, the necrosis of the skin goes down towards the deep layers which might be even lead up to the bone through the tendon and joints. This lead to amputation and then even to death as well. Moving on to the treatment methods of pressure ulcers. The main treatment method is using the support surfaces and their functions are reducing and redistribution of the pressure from the high pressure localized zones and reduce the friction and shear forces on the skin. The factors should be considered when selecting a support surfaces are the stage of the pressure ulcer, cost of the device, patient's comfort and the durability. Other than support surfaces, there are dressings such as alginate and hydrochlorides and topical agents are used to treat pressure ulcers. As well, it is important to give good nutrition and good care to the patient as well. The support surface can be again categorized into two groups which are the reactive support surfaces and active support surfaces. Reactive support surfaces reduces the interface pressure by immersion and envelopment of the patient body. Although the interface pressure is reduced, still constant pressure is applied, so it is not sufficient to stop the blockages of the blood circulation. The next type of support surface is the active support surfaces also known as alternative pressure matrices which are redistributed and also relieve the pressure from high pressure localized zones. The European Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel recommends alternative pressure matrices to the patient who cannot reposition regularly. As well, according to the WHO, this also reduces the risk of pressure ulcers especially of high risk patients. In addition, Randomized control trials conclude that a better payback can be achieved in comparison with standard hospital beds when using alternative pressure matrices. The aim of this study is to develop high resolution alternative pressure mobile support surface for the treatment of pressure ulcers. The objectives are to establish the optimum air cell design and the arrangement of alternative pressure using numerical simulation. The second objective is to develop the effective air cell design and alternative pressure formulation method for the pressure ulcer treatment. The third objective is to design and develop a control system for regulating the pressure of the support surface, providing self controllability. Moving on to the research gap, several researches and developments have been carried out towards the prevention and reduction of the pressure ulcers but there is no proper systematic validation of the effectiveness of an alternative pressure method. As well, application of feedback control system and high resolution pressure therapy are also not been studied. This research studies the effectiveness of the pressure alternative therapy with the higher pressure resolution provided using miniaturized air cell along with proper envelopment of the patient and avoiding bottoming out. This also focuses on the optimizing the cell geometry, size and cell arrangement. As well, this also considered the controllability in terms of pressure applied along with the feedback control system. The design can be categorized into three parts, overlay air cell design, control system and pneumatic system. Overlay air cell design has two air cell layers to avoid bottoming out. Bottoming out is the collapsing of the air cells on 
to the bed frame. Control system reads the pressure feedbacks and controls the in internal air pressures. Using the control system and pneumatic system obtains the already pressure therapy. The overlay air cell design was carried out by a material selection of different common materials used in existing mattresses and in addition to that, silicon was also studied due to its biocompatibility and the elongation. The animation shows a good envelopment characteristic when using silicon as the cell material. Therefore, silicon was selected as the top air cell layer which formulate alternative pressure therapy and nylon was used to fabricate the bottom air cell layer which avoids the bottoming out. Moving on to the geometrical analysis, stress strain curve of selected Ecoflex silicon agrees with the Yo third order model. Using that constitutive model, analytical models were obtained to predict the deformation of the air cells and to validate the numerical simulation results. Air cell parameters for an effective air cell design was studied by going through different alternative approaches which improves vertical deformation while reducing the lateral deformation. Finally, the optimum cell thickness, cell height, sizes and re reinforcement of air cell walls were obtained to design the air cell in order to achieve the required deformation. Another numerical simulation series was carried out to define the effective air cell arrangement which reduces the interface pressure. As per the second objective of the project, overlay was divided into five zones considering the movement of anatomical parts which are at high risk of pressure ulcers. Using the back pressure sensors, high pressure localized zones will be identified and alternative pressure therapy will be provided by using one in a four predefined cycle pattern as shown in this animation. The light blue color cells are the inflated cells and the red color cells are the deflated cells of the given zone. Considering the third objective, the control system was designed with three modes of actuation including an alternative pressure mode, sleep mode with no alternative pressure therapy and auto firm mode which maintains the maximum air pressure. Next, the pneumatic system was designed by using Festo fluid seam to select the required pneumatic components to achieve the alternative pressure therapy regarding the predefined cycle pattern. As well, a user friendly Graphical user interface was also designed to assist even a less skilled person to control the system. This is the final design of overlay which consists of miniaturized air cells having high pressure resolution. This is the fabrication steps of the laboratory prototype. Moving on to the testing and validation. This animation shows the comparison of the experimental results with numerical results. The predicted deformation shows good agreement with the experimental setup. And this setup shows the difference of immersion and envelopment between an orthopedic memory foam cushion and the designed overlay AR uh, cell system. It can be clearly seen that immersion only increases with adding the weight on the object in memory foam cushion. But the developed uh, system can maintain a constant immersion which shows in a red color uh, by controlling the internal air pressure. This concludes the optimal immersion of the patient body in different weight ranges. The dotted lines in two images reveals the improved envelopment of the silicon air cell other than normal cushion. Moving on to the conclusion. This project focuses on the designing of an alternative pressure overlay with miniaturized air bladders to treat pressure ulcers. In order to avoid bottoming out of air cells, cell on cell design configuration is used with 85 mm height static air cell layer at the bottom and the 100 mm height dynamic air cell layer on top of it. The total height of the overlay of 185 mm was designed to increase the comfort by properly indenting the patient body. The numerical simulation concluded that reinforced vertical air cells design could effectively control the lateral expansion which maximizes the pressure transfer to the patient's body. The final design included three modes of actuations, sleep mode, alternative mode and autofer mode with one in four already uh, cycle. The feedback system was designed based on the back pressure to regulate the localized high pressure zones in real time. The alternating air cells were fabricated using Ecoflex 3rd silicon and reinforcing vertical walls using less extensible uh, woven fabric. We have published two conference articles in ICAT 2020 and Merkant 2021 regarding the research outcomes progressively.
thank you.